Hi there, this is Afan About, and today I have Lenovo 536 in my hand and I have done uh, quite a bit of reviews on this device actually they were just an unboxing uh, camera review and uh, a basic tutorial and then I have done a uh, uh, small but uh, short review of uh, my two days usage I'm going to use it for one week before I come up with a review so in this case I'm citing out top five features of Lenovo A536 that are uh, best for if you are planning to buy this device so the future number one is the price of this device I know this is not an internal future but uh, when you are buying a device and if uh, the price is so high and you cannot afford it then that uh, is going to be the biggest flaw because you will not be able to afford it but it still will be a good device but in this case this is an affordable device you could go and pick it up and that is going to be a lot fun for you and the second thing is the specs of this device it is a quad core device with this with 1 gb of ram so the 1 gb of so in this second point we'll, we are saying two things quad core and then the ram this device is uh, lowly lowly priced and i have uh, cited this as the uh, first future of this device and now this is getting combined with the second feature of this device and the second feature uh, as and according to the second feature this de this one has a uh, quad core and 1 gb of ram this is interesting because a lot of smartphone at this price point are not quad core they did not use to be quad core now some of these the chinese companies are launching quad core at this price point but one thing to note that lenovo is uh, being a chinese company it is a well known brand it is so well known that it is actually the number one pc manufacturer now we'll head down to the third main future of this device and it is the rear camera on this device the rear camera is 5 megapixel and cmos sensor takes 1080p hd video i haven't seen that for a long time a CMOS sensor that takes a full HD video and that too on a budget device usually the, what they do what they used to do was uh, they used to provide this kind of cameras for 20,000 or 25,000 uh, smartphones now this is available for a budget entry level smartphone so this is the top third future of this device now let us talk about the fourth future of this device the fourth feature is that this device has a front 2 megapixel camera and a LED flash. I wanted to combine uh, this one with this. So it has a front camera of 2 megapixels. Then this deserves a spot. Even though the, the, the third point was about the camera, it still deserves a spot because of the of budget smartphone do not have 2 megapixel cameras in the front. They usually provide 0 0.3 megapixel cameras but this device is the only device in the market right now that has 2 megapixel camera at this price point. So this is interesting to see a 2 megapixel camera and um, this is amazing. This uh, not only just the camera, this is also a lightweight device although the thickness is a little bit high. Now let us talk about the fifth feature on this device it is the display of the device the display is way different and in fact uh, i have uh, been interestingly viewing uh, the, dis the display only the last devices are it is not hd display it is not a full hd display but uh, still the display is so cool that you could see whatever that can be done on this device because uh, the last time the displays of other devices were bad although the wing angles are not good but the sharpness of the device is pretty high now if uh, you could see the viewing angle is going 180 degree as well so in this uh, when you turn this this way then the video viewing angle is dropping but uh, you will be at the front side when you are going to view that that way but this which means the display is good and i haven't seen uh, this kind of display in uh, budget smartphones they are they are the fade, fade away they are either dull and learned a lot more as you could see that i was recently reviewing uh, the uh, lumia 530 and the display of lumia 530 was so weak that i had to quit that could be using that so these were the top five future us of lenovo a536 i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video